What's up guys, thank you for the new video. In the video today I'd like to talk about the OnePlus One and the software I've installed. The software is called, I will try to pronounce it, Ubuntu Touch. So this software is kind of like a base software of Linux. So Android, iOS, they all have some kind of base of Linux. But the problem with Android and also like iOS, but even like the Windows phones that were back in the days when this was released, there was one problem. And the problem was too much edge, too much bloatware, too much uh, privacy risks, because yeah, they could affect you everywhere. So back in those days, Ubuntu Touch was released with some phones, not with the OnePlus One necessarily, but they did try, yeah, like release the official software in the beginning. But now these days they are actually gone. But don't get me wrong, it still works because there are people that like porting this software and they're changing some things to keep it safe. Let's talk about the things I like first. So the things I like is really like, it's very simple. So I think if I give my grandpa this phone or even my dad, they will know how this phone works. Why? Because it's very simple. You have a home page and you just like unlock it. So you do unlock, then you put on your code and then you're in the phone. And the funny thing is, it looks, I, I have to say, my opinion is it looks a little bit like a, a Windows software with some kind of iOS 5. And that is a little bit logic because uh, Linux, where this, uh, this software is based on, it looks a little bit like this. And if you put like a landscape, you really get almost like a, yeah, a PC experience. So this software has something great and, and I'd like to talk about it now. So it's very simple, as I mentioned before. And if you like, for example, use this phone for private things or just for like phone calling and like maybe make some pictures because you're like a James Bond or something like that, this is a great phone because there's some almost no access on it. For example, GPS doesn't really work. Yeah, it works, but it doesn't really allow external apps to or web pages to yeah, show people your location. And also with your phone calling, you can like uh, record some calls, but it's also very basic. It's really like only like here's some touch. Let's see if I can put up the volume because it does make noise. And yeah. One downside about this phone, the OnePlus One, this one, the yeah, SIM like card or SIM slot doesn't really work, so it's just for the software testing. So if you're in an app, that's something funny I think about this phone. Uh, you can like swipe here and then you have like with new phones of Android that you can like swipe it away. You don't really have like a home swipe, so you always have to like close those apps to really get to the home uh, page. But you do can like, for example, if I open up the media player, so this is the media player, uh, you can swipe like this and then you also get like all the applications. So it doesn't uh, like, it's very limited on, that, uh, on this way. And this is why I say it's very simple because everybody will understand it. Of course, you need to explain somebody, but I do think that this software, because it's also very limited, it does give people that don't know a lot of phones and everything a little bit easier way to use it. For example, you don't need an account to use the phone. I have installed the software on it and I could use it right away. There is an app store on it or a web store. So you can install apps, but I would call it like web pages. And you don't need to use an account to install those apps. So there's something different with like, for example, with Google or Apple or even on the Windows phone. If you want to install an app or even like delete some apps, you had to yeah, get an account. And that's really why I like this phone because let's be honest, why do you always need an account for like only the applications, even the one you'd like to use every day. So that's all the great things about this. But let's start with the things some people maybe would complain about. And that is the limitation. As I said before, there are some limits on this phone. For example, you don't have Google. Some people would be happy. They would like to say, yeah, this is my phone. But that is also one downside because there are no app support for Android. So you can't like install 
an Android file on it because it will not work. It uses different kind of application file. I mean, I mean it's around CSP or something they call it. Not sure. I didn't like fully look into the software tweaks. But let's just say you can't really like install an yeah like an app file from your Android phone or something else. Other downside, it's really slow. And I'm not saying that it has to do with like the software because the phone is also not the newest anymore. But it also has to do with everything together. For example, web pages, so the websites, all are getting very heavy. I've noticed it with my like an older phone, the Motorola, a very old, cheap phone, around 100 euros, back in 2016, I believe. And it was very slow now with like looking up on internet nowadays. It has to do with like the websites getting very big, like shop images, more information, and again, still advertising. And even though this phone tries to give you privacy, it still needs to yeah, allow the ads. It doesn't really use an ad blocker inside the software, but it does give you the opportunity to like, uh, yeah, block personal ads. So it yeah stays like in a, yeah, in a mode that they don't really see who you are. So that's something great, but it's very slow. YouTube doesn't really work. So even though I'm like setting it up in a low resolution, like 480p or 380p or 360p, I believe, it still is like very laggy. It doesn't really work even with like lower quality videos. It's very laggy and that has to do with the web page getting too big. And the next thing I didn't really like is there are no like calibration settings for the sound, for the for the screen, because the screen now with this software is a little bit too blue. And I understand it has to be very basic, but it would have been cool like under the developer settings because it does have a developer yeah, switch to yeah, allow it to use different software as an example, that they could like make a button for like expert mode or something or like uh, more usable mode. <laughs> I'm not sure how I would call it, but that you could like change some things in the settings. For example, the battery, same thing. There is no like battery saving mode. It's just like you can turn on or off the GPS, turn on or off the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi, and yeah, do the screen brightness a bit lower. But again, the apps it keeps open are very lightweight, so it's not like it really needs it. But it would have been cool that I could like yeah make a battery saving mode that it only can be used as a phone because it still is a phone, same with the phone that I'm recording now. So, yeah, let's just say that the overall experience with this software, uh, it has been very interesting, but the downsides are also there. And there's one thing I did notice, and that's still very impressive, the battery life is very decent. It doesn't really work with the battery life indication yet, so it doesn't really show you how your day was with the battery. But I can say I've like, did a lot of filming today, but also like testing out the camera performance on it, even using the very slow internet. I can say it still performs very well. It still has around, I believe, 20 30 percent battery. It's pretty decent. I charge it when I was updating or changing the software, and it's fine. So the battery is not a problem, even though it's not the newest anymore. But it's just like it's so slow, and you really have to have the patience to like get things done but I do think it's like a very very practical phone for people or software for the people that like to get privacy or like secret agents or something like that I don't know so it's very basic I hope you guys enjoy this video and see you guys in the next one